perhaps one of the biggest talks of camp in Las Vegas Raiders training camp has been, you know, the edge rushers. You know, you talk about all the different things and all the different looks that this team could bring, especially with its current personnel. Yeah, there's going to be a lot to talk about it. And I know, you know, uh, Vinny putting out a tweet, Vincent Von Signier, for those of you that don't follow him, you need to. You absolutely need him to follow for all the latest Raiders coverage. Does a fantastic job. But, you know, he put up a video about how Malcolm Coons got chewed out a little bit, a little bit, a little bit by uh, by um, uh, Josh McDaniels for, uh, I think he was kind of in the way during a play, uh, you know, he was trying to go after Derek Carr as a sack type, you know, and, and it was very clear he was obviously going to get the sack. But, you know, especially in training camp, you want to finish out the rep uh, and be able to, uh, you know, kind of get uh, plays installed for, you know, the teams. They need to go through all their different things. And, you know, you could see that Josh McDaniels was a little upset with Malcolm Coons. But you know what? I don't care. I absolutely don't care because I feel like that is a bigger indication of number one, like it, it's not that big of a deal. It really, it's the fact that he's trying to hone that, that team to be disciplined. And number two, they're trying to put in a playbook. So uh, obviously, you know, I, I've gotten in trouble for that. It does come back down to the fact that Kuntz, you know, uh, and anybody in that situation needs to slow down, let the play develop. Yes, you got the sack. Great for you, buddy. Let the play uh, continue. But at the end of the day, there's a bigger message here you need to take into consideration. This Las Vegas Raiders edge rushing group uh, could be late. It could be absolutely lethal. Uh, and it's not. it doesn't just talk about, you know, uh, Mal Malcolm Coons. It doesn't talk about Max Crosby, just everybody, um, you know, uh, from top to bottom. This could be a very special group, um, and I'm really excited for it. So, you know, uh, when we talk about all the different things kind of coming from this 3-4 defense, you know, obviously Max Crosby, you know, Bilo Nichols, Jonathan Hankins, there's going to be a lot of different moving parts to it. Are you going to notice a couple things right here? Yes, I got Darian Butler with the outside linebackers starting there. Uh, but it's just to start things out. You've, that's kind of what you've noticed. And we'll, 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 we'll fix this um, uh, moving down into training camp. But overall, this is what we've seen. Um, you know, uh, obviously, Divine Diablo is going to be in that mix. He's probably going to be. He needs to be a starter in my mind. Uh, but Denzel Perriman, Chandler Jones, everybody, whoever, it doesn't matter how whoever you get on the field in my mind, you know, you need to get Divine Diablo and Darian Butler on the field at the same time in my opinion. So, um you know, whoever does start, it really doesn't matter to me. But when you talk about the edge rushers, you know, you got Max Crosby, uh, guys like uh, you know Chandler Jones, who probably in my mind both could play outside linebacker. So, but this this is not set in stone. This is one of those depth charts that anybody can play anywhere, and that's what's going to make this defense absolutely so special. And I think that's what Patrick Graham is going to bring to the Raiders. So, and and is currently bringing to the Raiders. So you talk about you know Vernon Butler, you know a defensive tackle as well, or that edge. Excuse me, he's mainly uh, going to be playing that five tech in my mind. Also Kyle Paco, Neil Farrell Jr. could be a name to watch especially at nose tackle uh, especially with Jonathan Hankins uh, you know being on the pup I believe he's back if I'm not mistaken but he might be not be back yet but overall it doesn't matter because Neil Farrell Jr. is going to be a name to watch overall also you know Zach Van Valkenburg you know coming off that edge as well he's a guy that really showed out at Iowa uh, you know Tashawn Bauer has showed some things in the NFL Malcolm Coons I'm, I'm really excited about his future again I know he got chewed out but I don't care I think he's still going to be a very special player played like 17 sacks or snaps excuse me for the Raiders last year and he had like two sacks so so, yeah, he's going to be a special player. Um, then you have also a, a guy like Kyler Fackrell who had, like, what was it, 10 sacks a couple years with the Packers. Like, just this entire Las Vegas Raiders edge rushers, like, it's deep. And, you know, if one guy goes down, unfortunately, um, you know, that's unfortunate. But they've got guys that can step up and do a lot of different things. So, you know, I'm excited about this edge rushing group. And I, I think that it does go, you know, the fact that, you know, top to bottom, if guys like Max Crosby or Chandler Jones do need a break, doesn't matter. You got guys that can step up, do a lot of different things, and I do think that it definitely needs to be uh, in the consideration to uh, you know sub people in, you know, get breathers for a lot of these different guys. And at the end of the day, just get the best uh, people out on the field that are, are good to go at that moment. Uh, but I do absolutely believe that with all of this talent on this uh, Raiders defensive line, it's going to be really fun to watch. Um, and I think that this uh, Raiders edge rushing group could be very very lethal. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Make sure you guys also give us a listen and sub on iTunes. Uh, and uh, you know we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. We love every single one of you. But if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Las Vegas Raiders edge rushers who could be lethal.